Minecraft. Minecraft farms? Farming? If you play Minecraft, then you need to build these eight farms. These will genuinely change your entire Minecraft world for the better. And if you're wondering why I sound weird, it's because I have a Jolly Rancher in my mouth. New day, new me, no Jolly Rancher this time. As you can see, we've got our first farm here, which is an Iron Golem farm, and it works incredibly well. We have an Iron Golem burning right now. This thing can spawn up to two Iron Golems at a time, and if we come under here, you will see that there is quite a lot of iron in this chest. This is from about three hours worth of AFKing, so basically anything that you needed iron, this is your farm. I also have a simpler design on my channel, which is also gonna be linked down in the description. And now that we've taken a look at the iron farm, we are going to take a look at yellow iron or butter or uh, gold. Um, this is the easiest gold farm that I have seen in a while and it produces a ton of gold. If we come down here, you'll see that this is where you would stand to collect all of your XP. And if we come down even farther, this is the storage for all of the gold nuggets, rotten flesh, and gold ingots. And then in here, we have an auto dropper system to despawn all of the gold swords and whatnot. If you don't want this, you could easily store these and smelt them down so that way you can get gold nuggets. Um, but personally, I don't like keeping all of the gold swords and I don't think it's worth the fuel to gold ratio. So I just let them all despawn or you could put lava down there. All right, next up we have a cow farm because if you have iron and gold, then what are you missing? Well, food among leather, among a bunch of other resources, but this is a great farm and holy mackerel. <laughs> Anyways, this is the one of the easier cow farms that you can build. If we go ahead and press this button, that is going to dispense the lava. If we press it again, it's gonna retract it. Um, these cows are not currently grown up, but if they were adult cows, they would then get cooked by the lava and all of their drops would end up down here. This is an amazing farm, especially if you're just starting out because it's gonna give you a great food source, which is gonna last a really, really long time. And it's also gonna give you all of the leather that you need to build an enchantment table. And I guess we're just doing all of the precious metals today because next up we have this amazing AFK raid farm. I've gone ahead and turned it on. And as you can see, it is already starting a raid. This is the bad omen generator. So this is killing all of the pillager captains. And up here is where all of the pillagers and raid and all of that stuff is gonna happen. As you can see, they're falling down into the chamber. It is an amazing XP source. And you can also leave this running for literal hours and you're gonna come back to hundreds and hundreds of stacks of emeralds. Okay, maybe not hundreds and hundreds of stacks, but a lot of stacks of emeralds and a lot of totems of undying. All right, this next farm is not my design. This is actually a world download from Blazed MC's channel. And this is an amazing AFK guardian farm. This is an incredible XP source. Personally, this is one of my favorite XP farms, I believe. I'm a little bit influenced though, because I was a huge fan of Mumbo Jumbo Season 5 Hermitcraft, where he had a giant guardian farm base, so I definitely feel biased, but I love guardian farms, and I am going to make one soon, but this thing is awesome because it gives you prismarine shards and rock hod and all of that fun stuff, and they are significantly easier to build than I ever remember, because when I built mine way back when, like four years ago, I remember it taking up this entire platform. So this is definitely an upgrade and I'll make sure to leave the tutorial linked in the description. All right, it's a little dark, so bear with me, but this is the easiest, well, not easiest, but it is an amazing mob farm. It is definitely on the easier side, I will say that, but it gives you incredible rates, especially if you build all four platforms. This is definitely an easier farm if you only build one because it is a little bit resource intensive, but it is definitely worth it. So if we come down here, this is where you would AFK. This is a great source of XP, like most farms on today's list and it is just a very simple trident killer i love this farm because it's going to give you all of the essentials i personally don't care for the bows and helmets and whatnot but the bones and the gunpowder specifically and the arrows if you're into that are amazing drops look how fast this thing is i get that there were mobs in here but this thing is still incredibly fast uh with my testing i was able to get i think about half a chest in 10 minutes worth of drops so that is absolutely incredible and that is withholding a looting three sword and one of the last things that you guys are going to want is of course enchantment books and the easiest way to do that is with an afk fish farm now what we're going to do is set this to 800 milliseconds and right click and a lot of people think that these don't give you you, uh, treasure loot anymore but they actually do so they don't give you treasure loot in java edition however in bedrock edition we're actually lucky enough to still have treasure drops from these really simple afk fish farms 
So all we're going to do is line up with the fence post and go right on the edge of the pressure plate, let go of the mouse or whatever you're using, and then we're going to start the auto clicker. And just like that, we can walk away from the PC and it's going to do its thing. Now, since this isn't an enchanted fishing rod, it is going to take a little bit. Uh, don't worry about enchanting a fishing rod, though, because, of course, you are going to catch plenty of loot. As you can see, we just got a drop there. So we go ahead and check this. We got a rock cod. However, over time, we would eventually get an enchanted fishing rod with luck of the C3, so we would get even more enchantment books, and we would be catching things even faster. And the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys today is this item sorter. Now, this is a tried and true method. This is a very, very old design. I believe Impulse SV designed it, and it still works to this day. So why, bro why, 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 why change it if it's not broken, or why fix it if it's not broken? Whatever the saying is, it looks amazing, and it also works really, really well. Um, I'm just going to take these diamonds, for example, chuck them in this chest, and they are going to go up this item elevator. Now, I personally really like using glass here so we can watch it go up the tube. And then, of course, it's going to go into the diamond chest. We got diamond, gold, emerald, amethyst, and quartz. And then this is the miscellaneous chest. Now, in the tutorial, I mentioned that this is super important. And I'm going to say it here. It is very important that you have a miscellaneous chest or else all of your items that aren't sorted are going to despawn. So make sure that you have this slot. Um, but again, everything is going to be linked down in the description. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. My name is 1UpMC. I'm currently sitting on a yoga ball, and I will catch you guys in the next one.